How's it going, everybody? Thanks for checking out Exhaust State Comics. I'm Justin, doing a new haul for books that came out on May 24th. So, all the books I cut this week, as I continue to cut the list down and get down to what really needs to be read and leave off the stuff that I was, like, just struggling to keep. So, hope everybody's having a good week. Uh, if you're in the States there, as we lead up into the Memorial Day weekend. So, that's coming up. It's going to be a good time for everybody, hopefully... Who knows, your shop may be having a deal. Maybe they're having a sale that weekend. You want to check it out. Um, also, definitely check us out Tuesday night, JLS Comics, Tuesday's Comic Conversation. Um, and that's about 8.30 on Tuesday night. Link in the description below. Check out Strictly Comics. Always new stuff going up over there. Auctions, crazy stuff, man. Check out my last uh, Sunday morning comics. I think number five. And I unbox some uh, uh, contest winnings from his uh, last auction. Um, and then, of course, check out comicbook.com. We've always got crazy stuff going on over there. Good articles, new comic book day, or the, uh, the new comics list every Monday, so check that out. All right. All that being said, let's get into the books that I got this week. And, of course, after I go through the books, we'll be going through the comments from last week. Because uh, I posed a question in the last haul video, and uh, it seemed like I got a few good responses here. So we're definitely going to be checking those out. So leave a comment this week, and I'll go over it next week. That's how easy that is. All right. First off, let's take a look at the books that I got this week, because I almost started reading comments. So what I did this week um, was I think I only got like eight or nine new books, and I picked up a back issue. Um, and I'll explain that as I kind of go. But I don't know where my list from this week was. Oh, I lost the list, but I, I cut a few things. I didn't pick up a few things that I would have normally gotten as I continue, like I said, to cut the pull list down. Because as I cut the pull list down, that opens me up to getting more back issues that I want. And that's what we're doing. All right. So first off, we'll go with, I think, the only independent book I got this week, if you want to call Image Independent. This is Seven to Eternity, issue number six. Uh, i got the Spawn variant here, so you can see Adam's wearing the Spawn suit. Um, there is a black and white cover of this one. I may go back and get just because I really liked it. If you're not reading Seven to Eternity, I would recommend it just for the art. Even if maybe you don't like the story, which how could you not? Because Rick Remender's writing it. He normally does a great job, right? So this book has been super, super good so far. Um, you know, high fantasy with sci-fi thrown in. It's a, it's a good book, man. It's a good book. Definitely, if you can find it... Um, I don't even know if issue one's hard to get. Maybe it's not. Okay, next up, we'll jump over to Marvel. Captain America, Steve Rogers, issue number 17. Now, if you're reading Secret Wars and you really enjoy Secret Wars, just stick with that. If you read Secret Wars and you're like, wait a minute, how did the mutants get that place in California? What, what happened there? Read this book. It fills in a whole bunch of those like gaps in the story where, you know, Cap was having to do things and make deals behind behind closed doors really fast. So, like I said, this just kind of fills in some of those. Um, it's also basically a big interview. Um, that was kind of gross to show. Yeah, so basically, like, Cap's being interviewed for th most of this issue or some of this issue here, so. Uh had to give his big network uh, interview, right? All right, next. Batman the Shadow, issue number two. Uh, I think I picked up the... I guess this is the A cover. Okay, cool. I got the A cover. I thought it was not one of the A covers because I had to dig through to find this one. Uh, again, this is a mini-series. Six-parter, so we're already at two. We have... Why is Batman wearing that? Dun, dun, dun. What do you show you then? All right, so I really like the first issue with the reveal that potentially the shadow, I can't remember if it was the shadow was actually one of Bruce Wayne's teachers or if he was just impersonating the teacher because the teacher's missing right now. I can't remember which way that was going, or maybe they'll explain it to us. Um, but really like the first issue. It's a good pair up to see these characters together. Um, I don't know. I used to listen to the, the Shadow radio show with my grandpa. So that's where, like, 
And then the Alec Baldwin movie, I know it wasn't the best thing in the world, but at the time it was. Yeah, at the time it was pretty sweet. Okay, next up, Detective Comics. This is 959, no, 957. 957. I like that, that Orphan is getting like a big role in some of these books. Now, I say that, and she may not have a massive issue in this one. Look, it's Orphan and Batman the Animated Series. Dice game. Ooh. Batman the Animated Series night dice game? May have to look for that. May have to look for that. It could be something fun to do, you know. That's a fun that could be a fun, simple, quick game. Alright, next up. Invincible Iron Man. No, no. Infamous Iron Man. Oh ho, ho. you were like, what? You got Invincible Iron Man? No, I didn't. Infamous Iron Man, issue number eight. This is our second to last issue, our penultimate issue. Um, as it's, it's going to conclude at issue 10. Oh, Ironheart is in here too. Mm -hmm. Let's see if we can show you something. Doom without the mask on. What's going on? So like I said, one more issue, that'll be done. If, if it was going to be an ongoing series. I would have dropped it. But since there's a conclusion in sight, and I think when it was announced, I was already at issue six, something like that. So I was like, fine, four more issues, three more issues, whatever. All right, next up, I got the cool cover, or what I thought was the cool cover of Action Comics. This is Action Comics 980. Uh, I thought this was really cool with Harley. On top of Cyborg Superman, just banging on his head. And of course, he probably doesn't even feel that. It's like, oh, there's like a net. <laughs> Stupid net. Oh, goody. X-Men Blue. X-Men Blue number four. Yep, number four. Who is in here? Oh, they find the other Logan. The James Howlett younger one. Like his son or something? I don't know. Might as well. You got the younger version of everybody else. You might as well get a younger version of Wolverine to be on there. Though, couldn't you just have Laura? No? Okay. All right. Well, what? Oh, yeah, because she's going to be in the... Uh, uh, she's going to be on the other team. Not gold. Okay. And last but not least, like I said, I didn't get that many new books this week. On purpose. Um, <laughs> try not to. Trying to be good, guys. Trying to be good. It's a struggle that we all have buying these books every week. Because you walk into the shop, and it's like, a wall of new books. And you have your list. But then you see some books, and you're like, maybe that's a good story, too. Maybe that's something I want to read. No, you just got to get push on past that crap. Okay, next, a book I don't normally get. But because of the story, <clears throat> I picked up this one issue just so I can read the story as it goes. Um, and, of course, this I'm talking about the Lazarus Contract. This is Deathstroke, issue 19, uh, part 3 of the Lazarus Contract. So, kind of following that story. The first issue was good. Um, the Teen Titans issue, I really didn't... Wasn't that awesome. So, hopefully this one's better. You know, it just kind of, like, made me realize that I really don't want to buy Teen Titans. So, it was kind of good to see. All right, let's show you something. We will show you something. If there's not, a, there's an ad everywhere. This is crazy. <clears throat> so that's pretty cool. As we learned from last, I mean, that was the thing about the end of last issue or the Teen the Teen Titans issue, part two of the Lazarus contract, was that um, Deathstroke basically convinced. New 52 Wally West to give him Speed Force power so he could go change the past and save his son. But you understand that's honorable. Any Anybody would want to do that. But we also know that that normally breaks things. So we'll see how it goes. All right. The one back issue I got this week. I think I talked about this maybe last haul and in the uh, Sunday Comics number five was that uh, I'm going back and trying to pick up some Uncanny X-Men. Mainly like the Joe Maggiera run, like 312 through 350, right? 
So it's just some cool stuff, some good art. I got his Astonishing X-Men, right? It's Astonishing. It's somewhere. I can't see it. It's back there. Um, I got one through four of that. Um, finished that up. And, you know, it's just kind of filling in some of these holes with these books. But... I was at the shop this week, like I said, when I picked up these books, and I was flipping through the Uncanny X-Men long box, or one of them, since there are two, um, or maybe three. I don't know. So I was just kind of digging through, and man, I was like seeing these covers up in the 400s that are just like really cool, beautiful. So, I actually did have uh, a Joe Madrera picked up. Like, I had it pulled out of the box, and that was what I was going to get. And then I actually like looked at the book. And, like, the top corner looks like it had hit a box or something. It was kind of crushed on the top. So, put it back. Went back through the 400s and picked up issue 421. This is Uncanny X-Men. And this is Rules of Engagement, part one of two. So, just a two-part story. Not really that bad. Uh, cool juggernaut on here. Look like Archangel up on the top. I'm not sure if this is magic. Who is the blonde? Somebody let me know. I haven't read the book yet. And I'm, not, I'm like I said, I was out of X Men probably in the mid 300s, like not too long after Age of Apocalypse ended. Uh, I might write a couple issues after that. Maybe it got up to like 330s um, before you know I just kind of quit. So also like a little experiment that I want to run with myself here is uh, the the current state of X Men and how crazy it is. Uh, I think I'm gonna go back and as I pick up these these older runs of uncanny uh, i'm gonna read through and see if i can find out where it went wrong where did the x-men just fall and tumble and crush and <laughs> become nothing it's <laughs> like i was saying you know if uh you know you talk to people and you and you know, that know of the you know everybody's got an idea of the x-men so you talk to them about the x-men and um you know you ask who like their favorite x-men are and they can name like a couple and my answer is always yeah in the comics they're dead <laughs> they've been dead they're not back yet there may be alternate versions of them but they are not currently in continuity they are dead so that's one of the bad things about X-Men it's like your strongest characters the ones that the most people know the ones that you could just have like running the team from the base or whatever you want to do they're all dead <laughs> good job Marvel good job that's all I'm saying alright that's all the books I picked up this week and my little X Men rant. Uh, so let's go over to the comments from this week, or from last week's New Comic Book Day Hall. And I, I think I posed the question to everybody: Is are you sticking with Secret Empire? I might have said Secret War earlier. Secret Empire. Are you sticking with Secret Empire, or are you going to move over and just let it run its course and maybe read it and trade later? So you singles, trades, or don't care. I think that were, those were the options I gave. Uh, so we'll see what people say as we kind of go through this. To see how many. Uh, Seeking Near Mint Comics, whose actual name is Seeking, very very good, very fun, and Near Mint Comics. So definitely look up his channel. Uh, just picked up a few Secret Empire, Hell Hydra, nice. Uh, went down that rabbit hole, man. That God Country Spawn Black and White variant is awesome. Uh, thanks for the shout out at Seeking Near Mint Comics. No problem, man. Yeah, that God Country Spawn, like I said, I picked up two. Because i got to send one to somebody. Alright, next up, we got Romero Gomez. Romero Gomez is the auction cleanup man. If there's a book in the auction that you want, Romero's going to win it. <laughs> That's what it is. That's what happens. Um, Romero says, Justin, I would say stick with Secret Empire. Uh, you stick with Captain America. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I could quit both. Hmm. Thoughts. Empire, keep on unpool on pull list. Uh, that Ultimates two week art drop that hot mess to the ground. Man, if the next issue of Ultimates two is the same, that will be the last Ultimates two issue I get. I'll say that because whoa, that was rough. I hope it ends with the next issue. If there's a next, it needs to end there. Dark Avengers C eighty six. What's up, Chris? How's it going, man? Chris says, uh, I definitely say stick with single issues of Secret Empire. I'm sure 100% of event books for Marvel read much better in trade, but this is the last one. Uh, for what they promise, 
Uh, 18 months. Yeah, I know. I've heard that, but I don't believe it at all. I don't believe it. <laughs> I don't believe it. Like, they'll, they're going to get gun shy. Like, they're going to get halfway through, maybe, of that 18 months. Like, say they make it to nine months without an event, then they're going to get that itch. They're going to get that, whoa. We need to have an event, man. We've got too many characters. We need to cross over. But we'll see what happens. Uh, uh, let's see. This coming from someone who wasn't going to get this event. Awesome haul as always. Thanks, Chris. I really appreciate it. I understand, man. I was on. Uh, I was in. I was in. Now I'm. I'm kind of trailing off because it's blah. All right. We'll see. We'll see. That, like I said, though, that Captain America 17. That one really, really, uh, like, connects a lot of the dots of how things shaped up for Hydra to take over without a big resistance from people that apparently didn't resist them. One of the main factions in the Marvel Universe that didn't, you know? All right. Trinity... Oh, also, uh, Dr. Avenger CA6. Everybody check out Chris's channel. He's also over on Comic Frontline. Uh, definitely check them out. They've always got... They've got a live show on Tuesday night after uh, JLS Comics. I think theirs starts at like 10 or 10.30. So you can always check them out, man. Tuesday night is like comic book heaven. It's like you got live shows all over the place. People wrapping up the week before you know, new comic book down Wednesday. So check those out. Trinity Comics, what is up, Trinity? Uh, Trinity says when Jim Lee does that C covers, the C the C stands for cool. Yes, it does. <laughs> awesome video, man. Thanks a lot, Trinity. Everybody check out Trinity's channel. Um, next up, we got Comically Flawed. What is going on, brother? He says so. I'm not. Going to follow my own advice, but I'd say hold off on Secret Empire and get it in trade. Uh, I'm going to try and get all the Hydra Heroes covers, though. Nice job on the cuts. Thanks, man. Everybody check out Comically Flawed. Uh, he just put up a really cool video. I think it was last night. I think he put up a video last night, so go over there and check out those videos uh, of his. Showing off awesome collection. He's getting some crazy runs, man. New Avengers. You go check out his New Avengers books, man. Those covers are pretty sweet. All right, next up, we got the comic book villain. What is up, a villain? How are you doing, brother? Comic book villain says, Great all there, Justin, man. What's up? Uh, wish I had the strength and willpower to cut back, but comics are my crack addiction. Dude, I'm with you. I understand. I have withdrawals, man. I got the shakes. Uh, <laughs> and, and I get my fix every Wednesday or whenever I get to go hit the comic book store. Yeah. Um... <laughs> Gotta make that drug life. So what happens on the weekend? You start. You gotta go back. You gotta pick. I gotta get some. That's what happened with me, and I gotta stop. All right. Like I did yesterday, uh, I had to get X-ray done, and it was in part of town that I don't go too much. There was a small shop nearby where I was gonna go, and so I jumped in there. And after I was done, I got my fix on. <laughs> I picked up a few books. Word. Well, Justin, I'm looking forward to reading this week is The Flash 22. Yeah, Flash 22, end of the button. Curse Words, number five. Guide Country, number five. Rose, two. Batman, 23. Batman, 23. Uh, Green Lanterns, 23. Harley Quinn, 20. Spawn, 273. I like the 25th anniversary. Wildstorm, three. And X-Men Gold, number four. I'm sticking with X-Men Gold until at least issue number five. Then might drop it. Well, just until next week, brothers. Later, the comic book villain. All right, man, villain. Appreciate it. Everybody check out the villain site. Our page. Channel. You know, those things that we do on here. Blah. Click links. Um, next up, we got Philly Superman. What is going on, Jay? This is Jay from Comic Frontline and his own channel. Uh, Philly Superman Comic Book Theater. Uh, Jay says, I think in Secret Empire is overinflated. But I would say stick with it only because it is invading everything. Uh, so, it is... It, yeah, so it's read it now or be spoiled by everything by the time it doesn't trade and then you have to debate to get it or not. Yeah. I know it's a tough one. It's a tough one. So I'm just going to bloody well stick with it. Screw it. There's no point. I'll just stay with it. But thanks a lot for posting, Jay. I really appreciate it, man. I hope you're having a good one. Like I said, everybody check out Jay's channel, too. That's Philly Superman. Philly's Superman. All right, next up we got Holger Peterson. What is up, my German friend? Holger Peterson. Holger Peterson says, hello, Justin. Great haul video, as always. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Um, 
There were really a lot of great books last week. My, I got a question for you, Holger. I'm going to stop right here. All right. You said free comic book day stuff was like pushed back, like older books or something like that. You'd, you'd mentioned in one of your comments that um, sometimes y'all get books that are like six months old or something like that. So, and that may be in physical form. So are you reading like the books that you're listing off here, like Batman 23, Daredevil 20, and we'll go on. Are you getting those digitally or are you getting those in physical form? I'm just asking because I'm confused. But thanks for coming. We'll go on. Your favorites were from last week: uh, Batman twenty three, Daredevil twenty, The Mighty Thor nineteen, Mighty Thor nineteen. Man, that was so good. Ding Thor, Flash twenty two, and Superman twenty three. Man, we're about that on the same page, Holger. We're on the same page. Also, Secret Empire two was very good. Although reading and trade would be would work better. I think it's hard to wait until the end of an event. It is very hard. So we're gonna stick with it. I dropped Cabe Carson and his cybernetic eye and Monsters Unleashed. Uh, not because they were bad, but just I want to read more back issues. Yeah, you do. Yeah, back issues. I don't know. Um, but I'm, I'm with you on that. I mean, and you can always pick those up later or in trade also. It's one of those kind of things. Um, so thanks a lot, Holger. Really appreciate your comment. And next up, last but not least, we got William Harris. William Harris, I think this is the first time you've commented. So welcome to the Exile State. Uh, I'm on. <laughs> I'm with you on X Men Gold. That story sucks. <laughs> yeah, it does. Oh yeah, it does. Um, <laughs> it's like they have no idea what to write. It's too bad, really, because X Men solid history. William, I'm with you, brother. William Harris, I'm with you. The X Men, like I said, that's why I'm gonna go back. With the Uncanny Run, I don't think I'm gonna try like the like the uh, X Men, just that book, that solid one. Like that may come later. I'm gonna focus on Uncanny. I want to get that, um, and just see where things went wrong, man, and just see where things went wrong because it just went down the crapper. It went down the crapper. Not saying like Bendis started off strong when he was doing it. Um, if they would have thrown the all-new X-Men back to the past where they were supposed to go and then just had our team move up and maybe not had this stupid Terra Genesis bomb cloud. <sighs> okay. We're okay. We're going to find out where it went wrong. We're going to do it. All right, everybody. That's it. We blabbered on long enough for this haul. Uh, so thanks, everybody, for watching. I really appreciate it. Like, subscribe, do that kind of fun stuff. Leave a comment. Let me know what you're thinking. Um, wh where do you think the X-Men went wrong? Let me know. Where did it fall apart? Was it House of M? Was it after that? Was it um, that regener uh, Regenerist thing? That was stupid. So you tell me where you think X-Men just fell apart and have not been able to recover since then. Now, you could also say that it was the Bendis run. You could say it was one of these uh, the runs leading up to it. Um, I had really high hopes for Extraordinary X-Men when it started. No. Because of that stupid Apocalypse War. <laughs> yeah, X-Men. Awesome. All right, everybody. Have a good one. And uh, watch out for more videos coming soon. I got that top 10 video or top 10 modern um, covers that I'm going to show off in a video that I have done. I just need to upload. So, All right, everybody. Have a good one. Have a good week. Keep reading. Find some back issues. Cut the pull list.